okay so today i'm going to cover that is the most famous topic okay that is called test ng okay how to write how to design a test ng class and uh, how to write test ng assertions and how can we integrate test ng with selenium okay and how can you design a very good test ng framework or testing framework okay so today we will cover all those things and uh, so, Navin, before that yeah uh, before that uh, last time uh, we we fetched a data from a file so that that is a data driven framework right yeah so that is a kind of data driven framework yeah so first of all what is test ng see so let's write some note, notes about test ng then you will understand what exactly okay so i'm going to create a simple file okay let's see test ng notes so what is test ng so test ng is testing new generation framework okay i would say it's a unit testing framework okay it's a very famous uh, framework which is used by developers to write their test cases unit level test cases okay whenever they are writing their code so they are writing their unit level test cases also okay by using j unit or test ng so both are unit testing framework but automation engineers also they can use test ng and they can integrate with selenium and they can write very good selenium test cases also okay it's a very powerful tool it gives lot of options and features okay to design your test cases to generate the html reports and everything so test ng is all about what is the purpose the purpose is very simple purpose design test cases okay the purpose is design test cases in a systematic way okay in a proper systematic way it will design your test cases test ng is first of all open source okay it's freely available in the market you can just need to download it and start using it so it's open source it's free okay it's available in the form of jar files so they will give you one test ng dot jar file so available in the form of jar file and this is also called java unit testing framework okay so it's only and only applicable with java let's say tomorrow you want to work with php then there will be another php unit is available you want to work with dot net or c sharp then n unit is available for writing the test cases okay but j unit and test ng both are used only and only with java both are java testing framework okay so for each and every language they have their separate testing framework okay what are different advantages the first advantage that i told you that okay design your test cases in a systematic way another way is that okay it will generate very good html reports okay good html reports it can generate apart from that it gives lot of annotation different annotation i would say i'll tell you what is annotation it gives lot of annotations lot of other features like we have different features like priorities you can define your test cases that okay which one should be executed first which one should be executed last okay you can define the priorities or the sequence of the test cases also you can define i would say sequence okay sequence also sequence of the test cases also you can design apart from that there are some other features like dependency feature i'll tell you what is dependency feature okay one test case is one test case is dependent on another test test case okay you can define the different dependencies also okay dependency is there apart from that you can define number of let's say you have 100 test cases and you can define the grouping also i'll tell you what is grouping okay grouping also is possible in test ng most most important feature is data provider feature let's see you want to execute your uh, test case multiple times with a different set of data let's see one login feature is there and you want to pass username password again and again okay 
let's see you have 10 username 10 password so you want to execute same test case again and again 10 times with a 10 set of data in that case data provider is the amazing feature is available in test ng okay and it's a very famous interview question as well as in any project if you're using test ng with selenium data providers you have to use okay so data provider is also very very good feature is available in test ng and life will be very easy with test ng that you just need to concentrate on your logic and the entire thing will be taken care by test ng okay so these are the different features are available in test ng so that's why whenever we are designing any automation framework we always use test ng to write our test cases so in other form test ng is also called tdd framework what do you mean by tdd see these days in agile methodology we are you know heard, we are hearing this term that what is tdd tdd means test driven development okay test driven development so this is also called tdd framework what do you mean by test driven development development means along with whatever they are writing their test cases whatever they're designing their code and everything along with that we can also design our test cases in agile methodology so test ng will help you to design your test cases in a systematic way whatever the prerequisites are there after the test case what exactly you want to do and all those things so, okay so that's why this is called test driven development framework also you can drive your test cases with the help of uh, test ng framework okay so if you learn this particular framework then it's really good it's really good to go with the you know with interviews with your uh, you know designing of the new framework in your company if you have some very fresh project in your uh, company and then if you want to start the fresh framework from the scratch you can design a very good test ng framework like that okay now the second thing another thing is that how to install okay install test ng okay in eclipse so there are okay um, i mean there is one way that you can install test ng what you have to do okay so let's go to uh, i'll give you one url from there you have to download so what is the url is that you just need to search on google that uh, test ng plugin you have to download test ng plugin in eclipse so just write test ng plugin for eclipse and what you have to do there is one url i'll tell you where exactly what is that url not this one just a minute let's one url is there just a minute we will note down that url okay yeah this is the url see copy this url I'll give you that URL okay this is a URL so no need to hit this URL directly what you have to do you have to go to your help and click on install new software okay go to help and click on install new software and here work in this particular field you have to copy paste this particular URL and enter and then it will search that where exactly this url is connected with so it is still showing pending it will give you test ng after a few seconds so it's still it's searching the plugin the correct plugin on this particular url just wait for a few seconds okay so you can see that test ng is over there you select this plugin like this and click on this contact all update site during install to find required software this last option make sure you are selecting and click on next okay so it will start 
calculating all the dependencies and everything okay and three options will be displayed okay let it be like this and click on next you have to accept the license agreement of uh, okay and uh, of test ng this is apache based so apache license agreement you have to accept and click on finish the moment you finish it will install it will start installing the test ng okay so once it is completed then i'll tell you what you have to do okay so let it install okay so it will give you one security warning so click on okay okay so after that it will ask you to restart your eclipse so just click on yes so that your eclipse will be restarted okay so let it restart and uh, okay so i'll share this particular url with you guys and so first let us restart the so one eclipse will be launched again okay now this is our project and in this particular project what we have to do we have to add test ng libraries so how to add test ng libraries so just right click on your project okay go to properties and then you have to click on java build path okay then you have to go to java build path and you have to click on add library we have to add test ng library just click on add library select test ng so if testng is uh, you know installed properly then it will give you an option over here testng and click on next and click on finish so you will see that along with all the selenium jar files we have jre jar files java jar files and testng jar files if you open see it will give you one testng jar file over here these four jar files are provided by testng so as i told you earlier that testng is available in the form of jar files so you need to click on apply and click on ok okay so it's updating your project so let it update and then we will start okay so you'll see that we have a jre system library and all the selenium jar files and test ng library also we have added now we are good to write the test cases so what i'll do for test ng let's create a separate uh, package so i'm going to create a package let's see my package name is com dot test package okay and click on finish so in this particular package what i'll do i'll create a class okay so let's see i'm going to create a class let's see test ng basics okay always remember in test ng don't select main method we never write main method inside the test ng we 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 don't need main method executor okay because test ng will automatically execute <coughs> okay the class we don't need any main method to execute our class so don't select main method in test ng we never work with uh, uh, main method simple write the class name and click on finish okay so once this is the class and in test ng same java code we have to write but test ng provides some other uh, features which is available in the form of annotations now what do you mean by annotation test ng annotations are that in the form of at the rate we have to write okay 
so what is annotation the first annotation in test G is that we have this annotation before class annotation B capital C capital with starting with at the rate so there are different types of annotations we have some prerequisites preconditions annotation we have some test cases annotations and we have some post condition annotations okay which I'll explain you what exactly these annotations can be used for so at the rate before class annotation is available okay how will you get to know that this is annotation annotation should start with at the rate right so when have you ever seen that some code is there that is starting with at the rate it means that is an annotation okay so we have this annotation at the rate before class always remember one thing with each and every annotation okay it should be associated with one method so we have one method public void let's see i'm going to create a method public void launch browser method is there okay so i'm not going to write the selenium code i'm simply writing simple basic okay java method so i've created one method public void launch browser what we have to do first it's giving you an error at the red before class we have to import this from test ng see at the red before class from test ng annotation just import it so this at the red before class annotation is coming from test ng jar file okay now we have written this method public void launch browser and simple i'll write let's see i'm printing system dot out dot print ln i'm writing launch chrome browser okay this is my method name okay we have another annotation at the rate before i'll tell you what is the purpose of at the rate after class at the rate before class okay we have another annotation at the rate before method and then i'll write the public void let's see enter url okay public void enter url again at the rate before method is available in test ng so just import it okay let's see simple i'm writing system dot out dot print ln enter url okay so enter url is also there fine so what is my first step my first step is launch the chrome browser and then enter the url okay we have another annotation again at the rate before test annotation simple right public void let's see some method name is uh, login method okay system dot out print ln login method and this at the rate before test is available again in test ng so just import it from test ng okay we have on top one more annotation that is called at the rate before suite annotation public i'll tell you don't worry i'll tell you what exactly the purpose of each and every annotation why i'm writing like this public void let's see uh, some very precondition let's see i'm going to write one method setup method is there and system dot out dot print ln okay let's see install chrome or maybe i'll write setup system property for chrome something like this i'm just writing random some system dot out dot print ln and this at the rate before suite is available in test ng so import this thing from test ng also okay so see i have defined different kind of prerequisites preconditions so let's see if you want to open google.com what is the first step first step is that you have to set up the property for chrome then you have to end, uh, launch the google chrome then you have to enter the url and then you have to log in right and then you have to write some test cases 
Similarly, so these are called prerequisites annotation. Add the red before, add the red before, add the red before, add the red before. But what is the purpose of add the red before suite? What is the purpose of add the red before class, before method, and before test? I'll tell you. Okay, in a couple of minutes. Now we have one test case, add the red test case, add the red test, right? And my test case is let's see public void. Uh, let's see. I want to open Google page. Google title test is the method name. This is my test case that I want to verify the title of the Google is coming properly or not. So I want to check what is a Google title. So this will I'll write inside with at the rate test. See guys, always remember one thing: each and every annotation should be associated with one method. I cannot write only at the rate test. It should be associated with some method. Add the before suite should be associated with one method. Add the before class it should be linked with one method. Okay, same thing. Add the test is available in test ng. So import it from test ng. Okay, let's see. Simple. I'm writing system dot out dot println Google title test. Okay, this is my one test case I have written. Now, once the test case is done, what I want, I want to define my post conditions. After my test case is done, what do you want? After my post condition is done, I want to write at the rate before method. Sorry, at the rate before method. At the rate after method. At the rate after method. What I want? I want public void logout. Okay, and I'm simply writing system dot out dot in logout method or simple I'll write login in login to app and logout from app something like this and add the after method is available in test ng so just get imported right and then so I'll write in a sequence like this better be right like this okay and then we have I'll write another at the rate after test and simple write public void so we have another annotation that at the rate after test okay so what do you mean uh, what do you want at the rate after test let's see at the rate after test I want delete all cookies and simple system dot out dot print ln simple I want to print this right now I'm not writing any selenium code I'm just simply printing all these values okay and at the rate after test is there and then I want to write at the rate after class and let's see I want to write public void let's see close browser so simple I'll write system dot 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 print ln simple I'll write close browser okay and add the read after class available in test ng so import it from test ng and then we have one more last annotation that is called add the read after I'll write public void let's see once closing the browser also uh, what I want generate test report something like this and system dot dot print ln simple I'll write generate test report okay and this add the rate after suite is available in test ng so just import it now see I have written so many annotations right so annotations are starting with at the rate before is called okay prerequisites annotation or I'll write preconditions okay starting with at the rate 
before okay at the before keyword so all these four are prerequisite annotation this is your test case so test case means annotations this is your test case starting with at the rate test okay so we have only one test case because we have written only one at the rate test it means we have only one test case starting with at the rate test it means this is a test case these are post conditions starting with at the rate after annotation okay so these four are once your test case is done what do you want i want to log out then delete all the cookies then close the browser and generate the report something like that i haven't received i haven't written any selenium code right so i have divided my test ng class into three parts preconditions test cases and post conditions so always remember in any test ng class we have three different conditions three different uh, annotations and or maybe i'll say three different sections the first section is precondition section then what is your test case and what is your post condition once your test cases are done what do you want and the execution sequence of each and every annotation will be different okay what is the purpose of add that before suite what is the purpose of add that before class i'll tell you now see if you run this class how will you run simple right click and go to run as instead of java application it will give you test ng okay so run as test ng so if you run this class what will happen you see the output see it's generating the report i mean it's generating the output like this okay i'll tell you now see the sequence is like this it's giving you the output like this sorry okay so first step is saying that just a minute first step is saying that set up system property for google chrome then log into the app and then launch chrome browser okay let's, let's see the sequence is different now enter the url google title test log out from app close the browser and delete all the cookies now see what is the first annotation we have written at the rate before suite okay so at the rate before suite this particular annotation will be executed first okay immediately after that this particular annotation will be executed so i'll write immediately after this actually that will be better to understand at the rate before test okay will be executed second time this particular login method will be executed so i'll do one thing i'll instead of uh, login better i change the naming convention that launch the browser i'll write launch the browser and this i'll create login actually that will be better approach login okay now see first method is getting executed this at the before suite it's printing system set up system property for chrome okay fine then it's executing login to app okay so the second test case it's executing at the rate okay before class method login to app okay so let's run it again okay now see system set property then it's executing at the rate before test method okay so this will be the proper sequence okay i'll write it once again okay so see sequence is very important test ng first method is executing setup system property for chrome setup system property for chrome means the first method is executing at the rate before suite annotation is getting executed second thing is 
launch the browser it means then it will give you the preference to add the rate before test annotation and then add the rate before class annotation is getting executed add the rate before class annotation is getting executed and then add the rate before method is getting executed at number nine number okay okay the fourth sequence will be this and then how many test cases you have you have only one test case then this particular thing will be executed okay and then log out from app so then add the rate after method will be executed at like okay at six position right and after that close the browser okay so okay. close the browser will be executed at okay and after that delete all the cookies so then on okay on eight number delete all the cookies and at last at ninth position this particular thing is getting executed generate test browser i mean test report okay okay generate test report okay so let's run it again okay see the sequence is like this set up system property for chrome then launch the browser the login to app then enter the url and then enter google title test then log out from app then close the browser and delete all the cookies okay i'll tell you later why it is not uh, printing this thing so let's comment this line we ought delete this we don't need this add the after suite okay now see the sequence properly okay whenever you are going to execute a particular test ng class first time it will execute at the rate before suite annotation okay the first time it will the preference means the before suite whatever the test suite we have written the first preference will be given to at the rate before suite so whatever you have written inside the at the rate before suite method will be executed first okay immediately after that it will execute your at the rate before test so before your test cases or before your test ng class what you want to execute before all the test cases i want to execute this thing launch the browser okay launch the browser now the third preference will be given to your class at the rate before class okay now at the rate before class will be executed at the third position okay now immediately after that it will check how many test cases you have written i have written only one test case what is my test case this is a test case so add the rate before method the property is add the rate before method will be executed before your test case what is my test case this is my test case and then this particular test case will be executed and then immediately after that it will execute add the rate after method okay so it will create a pair add the rate before method add the rate test and add the rate after method it will be executed like this okay now immediately after that once your all the test cases are done then it will execute your this particular test case at the rate after class i'll write over here so that the sequence will be proper see i know it's a little confusing but it will be clear don't worry and then at the rate after class will be executed and the last preference will be given to at the rate after test once everything is done at the rate after class is also done then at the rate after test okay will be executed now let's see i have to write some more test cases two more test cases i have to write so so far how many test cases we have so far we have only one test case at the rate test so if i ask you if anyone ask you that how many test cases you have in this particular class you just need to count how many at the rate test annotations are there so we have only one at the rate test annotation it means we have only one test case okay if you have only one at the rate test annotation it means we have only one test case if you have five at the rate test annotation it means you have five test cases so let's see i'm going to create one more test case at, and you can create n number of test cases with at the rate test annotation okay public void let's see my test case's name is 
search test okay and i'm simply writing system dot out print ln i'm printing search test okay now i have two test cases because i have two at the rate test annotations okay it means i have two test cases now if you run this program now see it carefully if you run this program see the output okay the output is same first preference will be given to see the output from here system setup system property for chrome add the read before suite okay then the second preference will be given to add the read before test that is your launch browser so that is also fine then login to app okay then login to app add the read before class method will be executed then we have to enter the url it means add the read before method is getting executed enter the url and then google title test okay the first test case is google title test it will execute google title test and then log out from app it means at the rate after method will be executed now see and then again it will execute at the rate before method enter the url and search test and log out from app and then close the browser and delete all the cookies now if you see one sequence here enter url google title test and log out from app enter url search test and log out from app okay so it will create the pair like this add the rate before method add the rate test and add the rate after method again add the rate before method add the rate test case number two and add the rate after method okay so the sequence will be like this add the rate before method then add the rate test case let's see number one and add the rate after method again it will create one more pair so it will check how many test cases are there two test cases it means two pairs will be created add the rate before method add the rate test case number two and add the rate after method like this it will be it will execute the sequence like this so see what what we have written add the rate before method enter url google title test and add the rate after method means log out from app again enter url search test test case number two and log out from app so if you see the output see enter the url google title test and log out from app again enter the url search test and log out from app okay this will be the sequence now let's see tomorrow you have written one more test case at the rate test one more test case i'll add public void let's see uh, google logo test okay and i'll write system or print ln simple i'm writing google logo test now how many test cases we have three test cases it means it will create three pair add the before method test one add the rate after before method test two add the rate after again add the rate before method second test case i mean third test case test case number three and add the rate after method okay so if you run this program see it's creating three pair see the sequence it will it it's not like first it will pick test case number one and the test case number two and test case number three it, randomly it will pick any of them any test case but the pair will remain same see it's picking enter the url google title test the third test case i mean yeah the first test case and log out from app now see if you see it's coming from here enter the url google logo test the third test case and log out from app again enter the url google title test and log out from app again enter the url search test and log out from app so how many test cases we have three test cases we have so it will create three pair okay three pair of add the rate before method add the rate test and add the rate after method again add the rate before method add the rate test add the rate after and for third test if you have 100 test cases it will create 100 pair okay it will create 100 pairs with this add the rate before test one add the rate after method like this 
okay but it will the pair will be created only and only with at the before method and at the rate after method okay and all these methods before class before test and before suite okay this is only one time execution it will be executed only once okay before all the test cases these things will be executed so if you see the sequence first it's executing so the first preference will be given to this guy at the rate before suite okay so better i'll write like this at the rate before suite second preference will be given to at the rate before test okay the third preference will be given to at the rate before class like this and then your respective at the before method will be executed okay on the basis of how many test cases you have written so let's see i have written this particular test case see guys sequence is very important in test ng it's a little bit confusing but you once you practice automatically you will understand and the same sequence will be asked at a time of interview okay so let me copy paste these things so that you will understand it better at the rate after test okay so let's run it again now see this is the pair okay at the rate before suite will be okay this is a final pair i'll write it i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here comment okay so the first preference will be given to at the rate before suite so if at the rate before suite annotation is available in your uh, <coughs> sng class the first preference will be given to this guy at the rate before suite okay the first preference is this i'll write again first preference is this second preference will be given to at the rate before test okay will be given to this all before all the test cases at the rate before test will be executed third preference will be given to this guy at the rate before class and then if at the rate before method is there it will start creating the pair on the basis of test cases the pair will be created okay with the at the rate before method and at the rate after method only like this so three pairs will be created like this how many pairs three pairs will be created pair number one with google logo test google title test and search test okay on the basis of the test cases the pairs will be created and then your this method at the rate after class will be executed okay so the third preference fourth preference will be given to this guy and um, then this will be executed then this will be executed and uh, you know the last preference will be given to these guys okay at the rate after class and at the rate after test method will be executed at last so this is the sequence to design that test ng class but in real time programs we don't need all these number of annotations okay we don't define all these annotations maximum to maximum we use at the rate before class and at the rate before method and at the rate test and same time at the rate after method and at the rate after class annotation generally we use okay but the sequence is very important they will ask you at a time of interview that how many uh, different annotations are available in test ng so you will have to give the answer like this there are different annotations all prerequisites annotations test case annotations and post condition annotations so that you can design your test cases in a sequencing manner okay and now accordingly we will write our selenium code now let's write a selenium code with these annotations okay not for all these annotations but we will use some important annotations so let's create another class and my class name is let's see uh whatever let's see i'll pick google test okay see the test ng class also you have to give like this let's see you are working in facebook or google or let's see you are working in amazon so you have to write the class name like amazon search page test so give test keyword 
in your test class okay test keyword in your test class google test it means this is your google test class okay like this so it is a good practice that you are following some good naming convention so immediately if a new guy comes he will check okay google test is the test class okay because test we have written you can write google also or google feature also but you should write google feature test or google test test keyword should be written now what i want first i'll initialize my web driver here okay simple web driver driver that's it so that i can use this driver immediately after the class i have initialized so that i can use this particular driver instance throughout my program and this web driver is available in selenium so just import it okay fine now what i'll do first i'll define my at the rate before method i don't need any other annotation simple i'll create the pairs the simplest and the most popular way of writing a test change is simple write at the rate before method and all the prerequisites you have to done over here method name generally we use an industry setup method okay public void setup you can use any method a b c d whatever you want to use but generally we use the name is setup method with at the rate before method and import it from selenium or oh sorry testng and what i want in setup method i have to define system property and all those things i want my complete setup so let's copy paste that code okay so this is the code for defining the system property and then launch my browser okay this is a system property and uh, this is my driver okay instance is equal to new chrome driver right and after that what i want i want to uh driver dot i want to maximize my window so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize i want other prerequisites like i want driver dot manage dot delete all the cookies and driver dot i'll define my timeouts and driver dot timeouts dot let's see page load timeout page load timeout is 40 please refer other videos like how what is timeout what is page load timeout and what is maximize and all those stuff that we have already covered in other videos dot seconds okay and we have to define driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait implicitly wait also we have already covered so i'm not going to explain it again here time unit dot seconds okay so these are the different prerequisites so whatever the prerequisites are there just write all the prerequisites all together inside this setup method okay and then we will write our at the rate after method once everything is done what do you want i want at the rate method public void let's see my method name is tear down method generally we route we write tear down okay at the rate after method we have to import okay and uh, what i want once everything is done i want to quit the browser driver dot quit okay so at the rate before method i have written and at the rate after method i have written now i have to write the test cases let's see my first first test case is at the rate test public void let's see google title test okay and at the rate test is available in test ng so don't import from j, j unit import it from test ng and what i want simple i want to get the title so simple how to get the title driver dot get title method is there right driver or get title method and what i'll store i'll store in some string variable the string title is equal to this right and i'll simple print system dot dot print ln title okay 
So I have written this particular test case and then I'm going to execute this class. So what will happen? First, it will execute at the rate before method. It will create the pair at the rate before method, then at the rate test and then at the rate after method will be executed. So it will create only one pair because we have only one at the rate test method. Okay. Just a minute. So let's execute this class. So how to execute simple right click on it and click on run as. Okay. So see browser is getting launched. Oh, it's done. Okay. So it's saying Google title test. Okay. Let's run it again. Run as test ng and uh, it's executing and it's launching the Google Chrome and see it's so fast. It's simple getting the title and printing it on the console and then I think it's done. Oh, it's not printing on the console. Let's do it again. Oh, 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 oh. We haven't entered the URL, guys. Driver dot get method also we have to use and we have to use http www.google.com right then only we will get the title okay so now run it again See, it's launching google, uh, google and then it's printing google title and see it will generate the report like this Google title test one test case pass C it will generate one more tab the result of this result of test ng Google test is the class and Google title test is the method so everything is green green means pass right now what I'll do I'll create another test public void let's see google logo test okay so let's open google and we'll see this image is coming or not okay so this is the logo this is a x path and what i'll do simple driver dot find element by dot x path and X path is this. I want to verify that is X, this particular logo is available or not. So I'll simply I'll use is displayed. Okay. Simple is displayed. Okay. So if this particular logo is displayed, it means it will return true or false. So what I'll do, I'll store in some Boolean variable. Let's see Boolean B is equal to this because obviously is displayed method is giving one Boolean value either true or false okay and we will write some assertions also just wait for two minutes so now what exactly i have done i have created two at the rate test it means two test cases i have created it means it will create two pairs first it will execute at the rate before method then at the rate test and then at the rate after method again it will execute at the rate before method second test and at the rate after method Okay, so it will create two pairs. It means every time it is going to launch the browser. Okay, Chrome driver, maximize, do everything, enter the google.com and then execute this particular test case and then quit the browser. Again, at the before method will be executed. How many test cases are pending? Only one test case pending and it will execute this method. And then at the after method will be executed. So let's see, I'm going to write one more test at the rate test public void. Let's see what can we test here. So let's see, uh, this mail link is there or not. Okay. This mail link is there or not. So public void mail link test something like that okay and simple i'm writing driver dot find element by dot link test and link text is mail 
and again I'm checking it's displayed or not is displayed and then it if it is displayed then it will return one boolean value let's see boolean b is equal to this okay simple I'm just verifying is displayed is displayed or not that's it how many test cases three test cases it means three pairs will be created at the red before method then this one and at the red after method again at the red after method it will pick this one and this one again at the red after method it will pick the third one and at the red after method so whenever we are going to execute test ng class first it will check how many test cases are there three test cases are there it means three pairs will be created first it will pick at the red after method then it will check how many test cases three test cases randomly it will pick any of them let's see it is picking this one okay so the first test case will be execute this right let's see it's exit it's picking this one and then at the rate after method third time it will be executed again it will check how many test cases are pending two test cases but again it will execute this one so on fourth number it will execute this it will check two test cases are still pending randomly it will pick any of them let's see it's picking this one and again it will execute at the rate after method or at six number again it will check how many test cases are there only one test case so but before that it will execute this one seventh number and then it will execute this and at last it will execute this so this will be the sequence see they will ask you at a time of interview these kind of sequences okay so like this okay before method test after method before method test after method before method test after method like this so let's run it you can directly run it from here also now see three times browser will be launched first time okay second time launched third time okay see now the gmail is there and we have written mail so it will be failed okay so and we have given implicitly wait of 30 seconds so it's gonna wait for 30 seconds if because we have written mail we have not written gmail okay so it's gonna wait for 30 seconds then it will be failed just wait and see things are gone and then if you see the output it will generate the report how many test cases got passed three test cases were there out of three two passed google logo test first it picked google logo test okay then it picked google title test google title test and then mail link test is getting failed why it's saying unable to locate element this mail and if you see the test ng report also this is by class google test is the class in this particular class we have google logo test got passed this is green google title test this is green this is also passed and mail link test got failed because there is no mail link there is gmail link so it will give you a fail if you see test ng report properly it's seeing it's saying that okay no such element exception okay this will give you the proper error but it will generate the report like this you can share this report to your manager Let's say you have written 100 test cases, it will generate 100 test cases like this. But the prerequisite is that it will create the pair. Before method, at the rate test, after method. Before method, at the rate test, after method. Before method, at the rate test, after method. Like this. Okay. So this is the first session in test ng. I'll cover like what are the other features that we... Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Naveen, could you just tell that how to uh, run it uh, like that um, right click in test ng we were doing right to run that particular method? Yes, yes. So simple. See, if any particular class is having main method, always remember. And if you right click, then you will see run as Java application. So main method mm -hmm. is there, then right click run as Java application will be there. But if you are executing test ng class, right because there is no main method then you will get run as test ng class okay got it
Yeah, and every time it will follow the same sequence, right? Uh, which you have mentioned that one, two, three, exactly. uh, and four, five, six. Okay. See, but the test and sequence will all, all the tests which we have written, right? It doesn't depend if we want to execute one test. It will go through the all the tests before which we have mentioned. Yes, exactly. But the sequence of the test case is random. It will pick any of them first. It is not decided. But okay. we have one so, more annotation that I'll tell you later. What priority also okay. you can define. If you write priority is equal to one, two, three, then I'll tell you later okay. tomorrow. Okay. But if you don't mm -hmm. write any priority, then it randomly it will pick any of them. Okay, it will not go according to the order. It will just pick. Uh, yeah, it will just. According pick to itself. It doesn't matter that okay, you have written first Google title test, then it will execute this one only. No, it can pick mail link test also, and then it will pick this one, and then it this one. If you have written fifty okay. test cases randomly, it will pick any of them. Okay, but okay. it will create the pair with at the rate before method and at the rate after method. Okay? okay, but if you want to define the priority, the sequence, one keyword is there, priority keyword is there. Okay. So let's, I'll, I'll tell you right away. Priority is equal to one. Let's see, inside the bracket, you have to write priority keyword. Priority is equal to two. And priority, priority is equal to three. Now the sequence is defined. Then add the rate before method, priority one, add the rate after method. Add the rate before method, priority two, add the rate after method. Add the rate before method, priority three, and add the rate after method. Like this, it will be executed. Okay. Now, if you run this program, let's run it. See, three times browser will be launched. Second time and the third time. Third time is checking. Okay, so I'm going to close this browser and I'm not going to wait for 30 seconds. Okay, now see, first Google title test, Google title test, and then Google logo test, Google logo test, mail link test, third number is mail. So if you want, to define the priority one keyword is there priority keyword is there okay let's say you have 100 test cases you want to define priority 1 to 100 you can define i want this test case should be executed first then this test case should be executed this like this you can define the priority randomly one then i want then three and then this is two like this also you can define first execute this one then execute this one and then execute this one like that also you can define with the help of priority keyword okay so we'll talk about it later in the next session. Okay. So that's all for today. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then.